Welcome to Program and Knowledge. Today I'm going to talk about analog input on Arduino. Okay, let's go. First, we have to know what is an analog and what can it do. Okay, the analog signal is a continuous signal. The analog signal graph is side, cosine, or any up and down curve like this. And this graph is representation for the analog signal in the physically. And this is a representation for the digital signal. Okay, so but in the real, uh, when we collect the analog signal, it isn't simply or smooth like this. But the signal we noise when we collect like this. Okay, this is the analog in the real life when we collect it. And the application of this video is you can turn LED on or off when you control the potentiometer, okay? Or anything can transfer uh, analog, okay? And the analog is quite noise and it's very hard to save or process. So that is the reason why we have the digital signal. It the, the digital signal only is high or low level like this. Therefore, the analog signal will be converted to the digital signal in order to easily process and saving. Okay, we already know what is the analog signal. And now we will know how to collect it from the peripheral devices by Arduino. On Arduino, you know, we have six pins to receive the analog signal. That's it from pin A0 to A5 right here on the left side of you know and the Arduino's analog system has 10 bits it means it can be convert the analog signal to digital from 0 to 1023 corresponding to 0 to 5 voltage okay it means when you input a voltage signal in this range from 0 to 5 voltage the Arduino will convert it to a number from 0 to 1023 it is a decimal. Now we'll test the Arduino analog system. And before we do it, we have to calculate the analog value when we transfer uh, input from 0 to 5 voltage to the Arduino. Okay, we will calculate it. And I will use the voltage divider to create a voltage signal. Here, this is the voltage divider. I have two resistors. The first is Z1 and the second is Z2. The Z1 is connected to VIN and the other one is connected to ground. And between of Z1 and Z2 is the VOUT. When you connect like this, you can collect the VOUT with the voltage you want if you change the value of two resistors. Okay, this is the formula to calculate the VOUT. Uh, the the V out is Z2 divide Z1 plus Z2 and all of them is multiplied with V int. Okay. And I assume that uh, Z1 is 1000 ohm. Sorry, I uh, forgot to put unit here. And the Z2 is 1000 ohm. The V85 voltage. And when we uh, apply this formula, we can get the VLE 2.5 voltage. Okay, next is the calculate analog resolution. The resolution is the 10 bit value we will get. Okay, okay, here is the formula to calculate it. The ADC right here means the analog to digital convert. Okay, and digital output right here is means the value we want to get. The digital output is. 2 power n multiplied with analog input voltage. The analog input voltage is the V out in the reverse slide, and all of them is divided to reference voltage. The reference voltage of Arduino is 5 voltage, okay? And the n is the number of bits in ADC converter. The n right here is 10 bits. And I have a script right here. The V out is 2.5 voltage. The N is 10 bits. Reference voltage is 5 voltage. Summary the value like this. Okay, I will calculate it. I will put uh, 2 power 10. Then multiply with 2.5. And then 
divide to five is five one two okay that's it five one two okay uh when we input the 2.5 voltage to the arduino we can get 512 we have a function to read analog value uh, we will use analog read to read the value from the vein and the pin right here is the analog pins okay this is a diagram we have a 1000 ohm and 1000 ohm right here i will connect 5 voltage to the to above resistor and GND to the below resistor and between them I will take the signal to the A0 pins okay before I connect I will call it to set up the analog pin we don't have to uh, set pin mod input like the reverse light we just need analog read pin here I will use pin A0 okay but if you want to bring the value to the serial monitor we have to set up like this serial dot begin this is the barrel 9600 and then I have to bring this value to the serial by the this function serial dot print and LN right here is it will bring the value to new line right here okay and I will delay it one second after one second it will print the value once okay now I will connect the circuit I have a uh, two resistor 1000 ohm right here okay I will plug it right this first second like this okay like the diagram okay and the red wire I will use for 5 voltage. 5 voltage. And the black wire I will use for G and D. G and D. And the green wire I will use for the input. I will plug to the A0 pin. Okay, A0 pin. Now I will upload the code to Arduino and let's check. I will connect my Arduino to the laptop. Okay. Now upload the code and open the serial monitor. Okay. Okay, you can see the value is fine. Fine. It's quite noise, right? Sometimes it can be lower than the 512. Okay, it's approximate. Okay, I have another sample. I will change the below resistor to 10,000 ohm and then I calculate it to 4.54 voltage and the value I can get f is 931 okay you can try it yourself to check okay so through this to assemble you can apply it to control your LED okay it means uh, if your analog value is lower than 600 you will turn on LED and if your analog value is higher than 900 you will turn on LED or turn off LED. You can control it like this. Now I have a new sample. Right here I will use a potentiometer to control it. If my value is higher or lower than the value, I will turn on or turn off LED. Okay, I will connect the potentiometer like this. The potentiometer you can use 1 kilo ohm, 10 kilo ohm or anything you want. Okay, now we'll go to control LED via potentiometer. First, I will config LED 13 is output. And then check the analog value. If the analog value at pin A0 lower than 500, 
I will turn off the LED. Low. And else if the analog is zero is higher than 900, I will turn on the LED. Okay, and the other if the analog value from 500 to 900, I will blink the LED. Okay, I have a bracket here. Okay, now I will bring H value to zero monitor to easy check here. Here I will serial dot print up here is on and copy this to here copy all of this here okay link okay if the analog value is lower than 500 we will turn off the LED if higher than 900 we will turn on the LED and if the value from 500 to 900 I will blink the LED and we'll bring the value to the serial monitor okay now we'll connect like the diagram I, ha I will let it here and I have a potentiometer is 1000 kilo ohm and I have three pin the left is one the mid is two and the last one is three okay now I will connect the one is to five voltage the mid is two uh, to analog input pins and the last one is to ground okay I'll use the red wire for for five voltage 5 voltage and the black for ground okay and the last one to A0 pin here okay and you can see it okay now upload the code and check okay upload and check I will open the serial monitor to check it oh uh, okay now I will turn to left the LED on continuously and the value is higher than 900 it, it will turn on the LED and now I will pull to right is it lower than 500 so it will off the LED okay the LED here is the TX is not a 13 okay and now I will pull it to the between 500 and 900 here the value is 663 667 is between 500 and 900 so it will blink the LED okay okay the analog input is easy right some next video maybe I will read analog signal from photosensitive model gas model and infrared model or etc okay thank you